Diego Rangers. But if there's any hint of a problem for them today, Celtic, it's over to you. For the fifth time in nine years, the race for the title has gone to the final day. On three of the previous four occasions, Rangers triumph. And it is in their sights again. That's come through to Lafferty, who's sparkled during the run-in. Edu, who's had a run in the side in the absence of Lee McCulloch. Steered away by Clancy. A few balloons around. Faithful followers of Rangers have come down the A77 in their hordes. Planning a party. Jelovic on to Davis, and Lafferty's in already! He scored! Inside the first minute, Kyle Lafferty makes his presence felt yet again! Rangers on their way! Well, just to start, the Walter Smith must have been dreaming of him, and it's down to the good reactions of Kyle Lafferty. Pascal is caught on his heels, Lafferty is on the move. As the ball comes forward here, watch Lafferty. He's going under the space now, Pascal caught wrong side. I've got to say one thing, what a good finish it is. How early does he take this? The ball is a really awkward height, and with the inside of his foot, he's found the perfect weight. Cammy Bell trying to move his feet to get back, can't get there. Well, an unbelievable start for Rangers. He got the party going at Tannadice a couple of years ago and he might just have done the same again. 46 seconds on the clock and Kyle Lafferty continues his end-of-season scoring spree. 11 of his 14 SPL goals for Rangers have come in the months of April and May. Dayton. Baffert steps in. Davis, who played his part in that goal. His foul though. He's pushed it past Weir, but Papach is covering. That will do for starters for Rangers. A goal in the first minute. And offside this time against Lafferty. Well, it must have been pretty tight because Kyle Lafferty is looking right across the line there. He must see where Gary Hay is. Terrific first touch by Naismith as it comes in here. Well, to be fair to Gary Hay, he got up half a yard at most. Otherwise, Kyle Lafferty was in again. But, that, you know, the early goal in makes all the difference. It takes so much anxiety out of it for Rangers. David Silva, the Portuguese version. Gary Hay for Mady Towel. Starting in the absence of the suspended Alexei Eremenko. This will be Lady Towles' last game for Kilmarnock. He's on the move. Rangers score their quickest goal of the season on the last day. I'm just surprised they took the free kick short because Pascali has gone up back post. They've got to drop something in that he might be able to go and attack here. Dayton and Silva over this free kick. The Monarch have a chance to buy it back. David Silva to take it. Way by Weir. Naismith had more time than he realised. Fowler. So all. Davis. Naismith now for Greg Wilde. Clancy tracking him. Naismith. Jelovic is free. Naismith did not need him. 2-0 up, inside five minutes, Rangers in a rush, a rush towards the title. Well, that's an astonishing start, I've got to say.
say it, the defending is absolutely woeful there. But what a terrific finish. You know, but we talked about his touch earlier on in the match, but what a good touch he took there. He's got to take it on the half run. That's Stephen Naismith that played the pass wide. Watch him. Watch the ground he makes up. Wild is slowed up here by Clancy. Picks him out. Lovely touch with the outside of his foot. And a two-touch finish. And this is nothing short of remarkable. I'll tell you what, he got the payoff. He broke his neck to get there. Took a terrific touch. And then found the finish to match. His 11th SPL goal of the season, his 15th overall. And it comes against the club where he started his career. The last time Kilmarnock beat Rangers, Naismith scored the winner for them. Beyond the wildest dreams of Rangers, this. Rangers setting their stall out with a serious statement of intent. They're loving it already at Rugby Park. Walter Smith in charge of Rangers for the final time. They're in again. Jelovic and Lafferty's onside. He scored again. This is incredible. This is remarkable. This is extraordinary. Wrapping up the title in no time. Oh, so, un so unselfish by Jelovic. Because if he doesn't play the pass early, Lafferty goes offside. Lafferty started his run. He has to get this early. And what a good feed Jelovic finds here. Once it breaks down, lovely ball into the channel for Jelovic. How good is this pass? And Lafferty times the run to perfection. Pascali playing him on side, and he just nurses that across Cami Bell. That is a terrific pass. But well, haven't quite seen anything like this. Seven minutes gone, and Rangers just about out of sight already. There are Rangers fans all around the ground. Walter Smith supported Rangers as a boy, and as a man, he got to manage the team of his dreams, not once, but twice. He might be about to get in on the act. It's Jelovic! Brilliant! Just brilliant from Nikitsa Jelovic! And this is turning into some send-off for Walter Smith. Well, you can't say he doesn't deserve the goal because he's been outstanding today. You know, normally you criticise Cammy Bell because that's the side of the goal he's looking after. The wall is looking after the right-hand side. They've got five in the wall, but he's just beaten by sheer power here, the killer goalkeeper. Not quite sure whether he saw the ball being struck, but either way, by the time he reacts, the ball's on its way into the net. And, you know, this, I'm not going to say it completes the afternoon for Jelovic, but he certainly deserves a goal, given his contribution. The Guerra, though, a foul shot, not passed. Well, again, Obama Young held his position instead of getting himself to the front post and, and, and giving Dayton an offer. Any time that they've managed to get the ball away, there's been nothing in the box for Kumar. Naismith. Lafferty wants the pass. He's got it. And is he in here? He is! Six games of the season and some fabulous finishes along the way from Kyle Lafferty. Legendary status assured at Rangers for Walter Smith. They've done it! They've won it! Rangers are champions for the third year running and trust Walter Smith to bow out like this. 
Another title, another trophy for a man who will take a very prominent place in the history of this famous club. This has been some send-off for Walter Demi. Couldn't have gone any better, Ian, and it's very easy with the benefit of hindsight to see this was always a formality. Trust me, it was anything but. The last step is very often the most difficult. Rangers came here, they got out of the blocks when like Usain Bolt, and Kilmarnock simply couldn't live with it. Davy Ware, at the age of 41, is going to lift the trophy again with Walter Smith. Ten titles, 21 trophies, that is the stop of legend. That is Walter Smith's Rangers. again for the third year running for the tenth time under Walter Smith as a manager and for the 54th time overall it's another extraordinary achievement it's another day to remember the final day as Rangers manager for Walter Smith